What up campers? This week we're going to do a quick review of the JT strong arm stabilizers. Welcome to Why We Work. If this is your first time joining us, make sure to get subscribed. This channel is all about appreciating life and this week uh, we thought it would be a good idea to talk about these stabilizers. So we have our uh, install video which you can check out but uh, now that we've had them on for about six months and have put a couple more thousand miles on the trailer I feel like we're in a better spot to be able to give you our thoughts about them so the install is relatively easy uh, again if I can do it and you can check out the video than anybody can but uh, these things have made a humongous difference to the stability of our trailer <music> little bit different than just putting down your normal scissor jack so um, you never wanted to hold weight on your scissor jacks before but with the stabilizers on with the JT strong arms on what you do is you lower your scissor jacks down all the way and then you actually go another quarter to a half a turn so that they're really um, you know firmly propped up against the undercarriage of the trailer and then you go ahead and you tighten down these bars um, once they're in that fully extended position, you go ahead and tighten them down and it just makes uh, a humongous difference. They do add a couple steps to your setup and your teardown and don't make the mistake that we did, which is to uh, forget to loosen these up and then you start um, raising up your scissor jacks and create stress where you've mounted the strong arm to your frame. So you do have to remember to loosen those up before you tear down and then you have to remember to go around and tighten them all up. We're not allowed to film mommy, but she's chefing up some delicious yummies. It's making it a little hard to get the strong arm review done. Guess what, mommy? We got you in there anyway. You look bomb. She's actually cooking it on this new Blackstone that we got right before our big holiday trip. So let us know in the comments if you guys want us to do a review on that. I was a bit skeptical at first, but I think you can consider us having uh, drank the Kool-Aid. <laughs> The other tip I would say with the strong arms, and especially if you're in a hybrid like us, get set up, put your scissor jacks down and everything like that. Don't fully tighten down your strong arms. Then you go ahead and do your slide, your awning, and especially uh, the bunk ends, and then go through and just give your scissor jacks another hit if they've loosened up or the weight has moved around a little bit. Because I have noticed a couple of times where I just set up a camp real quick, put the stabilizers down, tighten down the strong arms, um, I noticed about halfway through the trip that we were bouncing around again and I was like, what's going on? Lower your scissor jacks down at the beginning like you normally would, uh, but then once you do all that stuff, then come back out, give them another you know, quarter turn if you need to, and then tighten down the strong arms and it should stay very stable all trip. <music> thing about them though is that they uh, you know really again make a big difference for sleeping just for walking around we travel with two small kids and so uh, having these have really improved the kind of quality of life if you will that we get when we're in the trailer so uh, yeah highly recommend the JT strong arms again I think behind the golf cart batteries that we upgraded to this is the best 200 bucks that we've spent uh, on our rig and made a huge difference so we you know again highly recommend them if you want to check them out we got links to them on our website um yeah and that's it for this one so uh, thank you guys for watching and hey if you like this video make sure to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing and we'll see you on the next adventure